But um, oh, yeah. So there is a conspiracy. It's just well, absolutely. Uh, I just think not, that it's just not the way they're yeah. commercializing it. Yeah, I because I, I think all of the empires in business are are collections of conspiratorial actions. You know, right? So the whole Wall Street, Wall Street itself is all conspiratorial. Mm. There's not real valuations of money. These are all trends that they're trending themselves. There's nothing real. You destroy Wall Street. You destroy the whole thing. You get rid of the whole thing. It doesn't really mess up things. You know? It messes up how they value things. But they're deciding what is to be valued. It is the measure of how they decide to value things. That's what makes capitalism such a, um, a devilish system. It isn't that you just collect your asset and keep the asset. That's the beginning of it. Take these slaves, take their resources from the countries that they come from, right? That's what British, that's the British Empire. That's mainly what they did. Because after a while, you know, even after slavery, that's what they did. They colonized India, they colonized Africa, right? The resources, the capital, right? But after you do that, what do you do next? You know what I'm saying? You value it. You know? Mm. You mine it, you value it. That's, that's what you do. And that seems to be something that we uh, are lost at. Yeah. We're lost on that. Because we don't, we don't, you know, like, that's why, you know what's interesting? It goes back to things. That's why, like, um, you know, people don't always like it, though, but I, I, I think that's the freedom that they have. Like, I rem the first, the first people that were really going, valuing their projects really high, like, remember when Nipsey Hussle did it, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Matt Kami, um, Estinac and then I mentioned them too Estinac and uh, Code 9 uh, Al Divino they got to get mentioned in that because they did it to even more exorbitant amounts mm. and more consistently mm. you know so they went to want a humble bunch of records but this one is $777 you know how mm. <laughs> you do it this one's 2000 and yo some of the Al Divino projects they would be like five songs each one is like Two minutes, like, mm. and that shit is gonna cost you like three hundred dollars. You know what I mean? And then that's a dope way of doing things. Yeah, you know, what I mean? you know. But people were buying it though, and when people got the, the vinyl brand. that they were selling though, they were selling it for way more. Right. So they were reselling their vinyl anyway. You mm. know. But um, this is like the only time that we have like the power to. No, I, I don't like it. I don't want a record that costs that much. I don't. I wouldn't buy a record that costs that much. And I don't like it, but it's a way of putting value on their, in their stuff. We never had that chance to do that. You know, no. how much as a collective people? No, we don't. We don't get to va put a value on on our work. You know, what is it? What does it cost? What do our products cost? What do they cost for us? It's always in relation to the market. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You make your own shampoo, your own oils or whatever. You still kind of care to keep it to the market of what's there. You know what I'm saying? If Mega did this.